What's good YouTube? Before we get into today's video, I want to give a big thank you to SeatGeek for showing love to the channel. As mentioned, SeatGeek is your one-stop ticket shop, that baseball game you're looking to go to, that comedy show you're looking to go to, anything you're looking to attend. If you need tickets, SeatGeek got you. One thing I failed to mention is that SeatGeek has a dope algorithm in which will tell you the good tickets compared to the bad tickets. Another great feature here is that the app has the capability to suggest things that you liked once you search for a certain type of ticket. I mean, there's been plenty of times where I've been out of town and SeatGeek came through for me. I be using my own code. So as always, man, you can get this love too. Just simply download the app. Use the code JJones to get $20 off your first purchase and you're golden. So yeah, man, y'all go check that out for me. There will be a link in the description. And other than that, let's get into today's video. Yo! Yo, what's good, YouTube? Jay Jones back in the whip, you feels? I'm on my homeless flow right now. I'm on my homeless flow. Yo, but y'all see the title, man. Nike finally hooked the kid up with a pair of them Giannis joints. I know I'm a little late on the scene with them. Everybody done already talked about them, then told you how they're performing, etc. But I kind of wanted to just throw my thoughts out there. I've hooped in them twice now, and I kind of wanted to just let you guys know what I think. So I actually have two colorways, the white and black joints, still fire, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Traditional white and black colorway. Those who've been watching the videos a long time would say these match the jacket and then after that you know what I'm saying they sent a pair of the orange joints too now these really these are really really fire in my opinion I think I like these more than the traditional joints just because that orange that orange really pops on the court so initially I was like all right you know Giannis getting his first signature shoe I think it'll be straight uh, I don't think it's gonna be anything too crazy just because it has some of the uh, the more basic features that we've seen on a Nike signature. It is only 120 though. I don't believe 120 is a bad price point for a signature model. Could it be a little cheaper based on what we're getting? Yeah, it could. But you know what I'm saying, Giannis MVP. The design I think is dope, which I'm going to talk about a little later. So you know, 120. That's not too bad. So let's go over the basics, man. I know y'all gonna want to know about the traction. It does pick up dust really really fast solid rubber you have a couple of spots right here translucent it's a multi-directional traction pattern you know being that i was in a clean facility it wasn't bad i don't know how the translucent spots are going to perform if the court is slightly dirty just because uh, these translucent spots are pretty big they almost cover just as much as the solid rubber does i'm going to new york to play in this 2k game on thursday it's either thursday or friday and i'm actually considering playing in these i might hoop in something else but you know playing on that clean court that i hooped in the two times that i did play the court is always clean there so i didn't really have problems at all so we pretty much know about the traction but there's two things that really stood out about the shoe and number one is the fit again initially i was like yo these are going to be really really long Giannis, you know he's about seven foot you can expect his shoe to be really long because he's really long paws when you put the shoe on the fit is going to be the first thing you notice man the fit is probably the best feature on the shoe in my opinion at one point i feel like nike and jordan brand was kind of doing this thing where certain shoes would fit better than others uh, especially jordan's man like i would get the same size that i always wear in a couple of my j's and the fit would be slightly big and i'll be like yo why is this three much bigger than this pair of cement threes that I got three weeks ago. That's not the case here. Again, once you lace them up, I promise you're gonna be able to get a really, really snug fit without doing too much at all. If you don't like your shoes really, really snug, uh, you might have to go a half size up. You can always play it safe and try a pair on. I think they got them coming to America joints dropping. If they haven't already dropped, I really don't know. But yeah, me, I like, I like a really snug fit. That's what's holding me to this sneaker right now. Like the fit, the fit is crazy. There is double stacked air units in the heel. I don't think there's anything in the forefoot but most importantly for me uh, it's just that fit everything else feels just normal but that fit I think is just it's just what's gonna keep me rocking this sneaker a minimal break-in time is needed because of the materials it probably took me like 15 to 20 minutes to just get going and then everything just kind of everything just started flowing from there secondly I don't know if you guys like the design with the backwards Nike check bro but that's just nasty to me and I think it's only nasty as it is because it kind of follows the shoes design pattern I can see how some people are just like nah Jay that logo is just a little too big I honestly don't mind it I feel like they did a good job placing the branding making it big but not in a way that's forced but yeah man this is just my initial thoughts because I don't know if I'm going to be able to give you guys a performance review anytime soon I'm actually going to New York again for that 2k event and then I have to be in China after that I might be able to cook up something in New York where I could kind of do something in these so I'm going to take them but then after that hopefully uh, I'm going to be with Nike and uh, in China with FIBA 
uh, for the Basketball World Cup. But yeah, man, life is good. I'm in the process of moving, so y'all gonna have to deal with the car videos just a little bit longer. I thought it was only right that I give you guys a couple of thoughts on this Giannis joint because a lot of you still value my opinion, and I appreciate you for that. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna try to capture as much footage as I can in New York. And if you in New York and you and you out there, hit me up. I know a lot of people are already asking to play me 1v1 in New York. I got a couple people. Jar, for example, I'm gonna cook him up. Y'all don't know him. Uh, we play 2K together. I'm gonna cook him up. That's pretty much that. Uh, get at me. Anything you guys want me to film, record uh, in the near future, please, please, please let me know. I'm always down. But outside of that, until next time, oh yeah, like and subscribe and please do all that because I need subscribers and likes and stuff like that. But yeah, man, until next time, it's Jay. Love you guys. I'm out. Yay!